have to give a disclaimer before I even go into this. We're going over to Instagram with it. Straight up. What's up, fam? Um, everybody that's tapping in right now. I want to say this. Mitch is slick. Went on no jumper for the tab to explain how I guess our gangster ain't really respected. Maybe that's not the right word to use. However, spider Lope took it upon himself to have a rebuttal. I don't know if any of y'all seen it, but I posted the link a little while ago. And uh, he cleared up a situation that happened when Slick had said a lot of Crips from L.A. have came to San Diego and met resistance. Facts. Now, let me put my disclaimer out there one time. Ready, can you close that door, please? This is in no way to disrespect nobody's neighborhood, uh, no individuals. I just have to clear up some facts, and I just want niggas to understand that. This ain't about dissing nobody. It's about clearing up the facts when it comes to San Diego and this gangster shit. Now, Whatever happened at the Tony Yayo concert, so be it. That's what it is. Um, I wasn't there. However, I will say this. Spider do know how to handle himself diplomatically. Matter of fact, let me tag him. Because I don't want nobody thinking most Easty. I don't want nobody thinking that I'm on some weird shit. And just, again, because I know how sensitive you gangsters are, this is in no way any disrespect to anybody's neighborhood, section, flag, or none of that. Boom. Spider-Lock said he was getting a lot of text messages from his homeboys, his East Coast homeboys, that may have been down here in Dago during the time of the crack era. Um, I don't know if SPI was down here, but yeah, for sure it was a gang of LA homies. And, and, and at the same time, for those of you who are familiar with San Diego, East San Diego was a pretty big section. Shout out to my East Dago homies who be down in the little neighborhood where they turf really consists of and where it's at. Um, during the crack era, a wave of lemonade, Raymond's, Fultrays. Shout out my nigga Animal from 118. Shout out my nigga Fuji. Real Coaster, rest in peace, Drac. These are niggas who I knew and dealt with personally. So when SPI says niggas been ran up in sections and took over, not a motherfucking fact. Um, I don't recall niggas setting up shop in the in the heart of Lincoln, in the heart of Skyline, Little Africa. Maybe neighborhood, because it might have been some L.A. neighborhoods. West Coast, I'm not sure if any of that transpired. But to say that niggas came down here and took over, that was that's not a fact at all. Um, pretty much everybody was getting their hustle on in East Dago during that time. And that's what was failed to be mentioned. You hit one block, we used to call East Dago kind of like a little South Central because you'll hit one corner and you'll see the East Dago homies. You hit another corner, see the Fire Nine Brim homies. Hit another corner, some West Coast homies, Skyline homies. We was all over that motherfucker. 50th and El Cajon, it was Pablo, Skyline, 
Lincolns and Brims before the bullshit. So I'm gonna put that out there. Um, maybe in other cities, niggas was taking over, but they wasn't doing a whole lot of taking over out here. I, I, I mean, Slick said it clear as day. Before niggas was beefing with each other, a lot, of, a lot of beef before niggas was beefing down here amongst each other. We had to defend our city. Straight up. Um, yeah. It was a chance we run into a, a Raymond homie or a Lemonade homie. And they out here getting their money. Ain't no doubt about that. Ain't no doubt about y'all supplying some heat. Ain't no doubt about that. But to say that they came here and took over sections, I'm not going for it. I was there. I know some of these niggas SPI mentioning. And they giving him the wrong information. Know what I mean? We're going to revisit that. Because what really kind of irritated me is the fact that this cat says, No reputable Dago gangsters, blood or crip, has ran a yard outside Donovan. That's a motherfucking lie. I'm not going to drop no names as far as who run what because I'm not trying to get nobody caught up, sent to the shoe, none of that shit. But you can best believe, with the exception of Donovan, and the politics are broken down a little bit different, so I'm going to give y'all a little bit of what that's about. So let's just say we are in Donovan. You got your Dago Bloods, Dago Crips. L.A. Bluffs, L.A. Crips, so on and so forth. Then you have that extra shit in the middle. CCOs, uh, bloodlines. See, now the nigga that called the dogs for the bloodlines might not be from San Diego. But we have nothing to do with that. The niggas who call the dogs for the CCO might not be from Dago, but they're not involved in that. You know, this shit is hella difficult and detailed, so I'm hoping y'all follow me and understand where I'm going with this. We know where the Mecca is. We know where this blood and crypt shit started. But every time you hit any prison, any of the 30, damn near 40 prisons in California, you running into a San Diego homie. Um, Calipat, Pelican Bay, but then they should switch because these motherfuckers don't know how to stay off a of lockdown. Uh, Ironwood, Sentinella, Tehachapi. These are prisons that I personally have touched, not glorifying none of the bullshit, but in the period of time I was there, the keys did switch hands, and I have seen Dago niggas run yards outside of Donovan. Come on, you got to give us a little bit more credit than that. Know what I'm saying? So what you're telling us is we following rules in every other prison? Nah. We don't even swing like that at all. And I can't wait for this brother to tap in. Any of y'all feel free to tag Spider Loke at any given time. Um... We vibe a little bit different, you know what I'm saying, out here. It's Sacramento prisons that ain't no Sacramento niggas running. Know what I'm saying? Other than that, don't act as if whatever information or whatever yards you touch, charge it ready, please. It might not have been a homie running shit there, but you can best believe niggas is running shit on a bunch of different yards. And running shit doesn't mean everyone else is beneath them. LA niggas ain't beneath nobody. Dago niggas ain't beneath nobody. But let's not forget the fact, tell me, when it came down and, and this blood and crypt shit started, the first place it landed was right here. San Diego, California. So, I want to give a big shout out to first and foremost any nigga from the 
Boom. We found out about it. Period. Point blank. You know what I mean? Um, it was just so much said in his rebuttal to Slick. And Slick admitted he's not a penitentiary nigga. Okay. You ain't got to go to the pen to be a gangster, to be a reputable nigga. Yeah. Thank you, nephew. Oh, I forgot the seven. Again, because I know how sensitive gang members are. This is not to disrespect or take anything away from anyone at all. I just have to state the facts, bro. Do San Diego niggas run every prison in every section of the state? No. No. Not at all. I would be lying to motherfuckers if I said that. But I know damn well there's some reputable blue rags from this city, some reputable red rags from this city that to touch these penitentiaries and wound up being there long enough to have the keys and run the yard. I will say this for just an example. I spent quite a, quite a bit of time on an ironwood yard. Bonk and Pyru homie had the key, but when bullshit jumped off and transpired before it got thick and ignorant and there was a shot at some type of diplomacy, they hollered at the Dago home. Why? I don't know. I'm not... I'm, that, that's not for me to know. But it's like he lightweight tried to, in a nice way, put the Dago car down, put the city down. It's plenty of cats who have been to San Diego, as far as artists go. I'm switching reels real quick. And have met major resistance. Um... Daz and Snoop know about it, Coors Amphitheater. Um, in 90, whenever they had their death row tour, or doggy style tour, you're not going to throw a disrespect and step on a red rag at a concert where it's 80% bloods. Come on now, homie. Let's be real. Every I wish there was some footage. If anyone has any footage of that, pull it up, every nigga on that stage disappear. Now, am I saying that these particular L.A. Long Beach homies is weak? Nah. But Daz knew what he did was wrong. And at the end of the day, they saw how Dago can come together, the Don moves, and make that shit make sense. Ironwood 97. Who, I, I, I mean, was it L.A. homies that ran the yard back then? Because spider Loke shit is hella not accurate, bro. Again, I don't know if spider Loke even did any real time. But to say that he's pretty sure from what his homeboys in his text messages told him that no day go niggas ran the yard outside of Donovan. I don't want to try to create no separation. I'm not going to try to create no separation. But at the end of the day, yeah, he sure did lie, my nigga. He sure did lie. You know what I'm saying? Um, being a reckless nigga and being a nigga running the yard are two different things. So, for those of y'all who get that, you know exactly what I mean. Um, let me touch another subject Spider was kind of inaccurate on. I think I spoke on him. My very first time to the penitentiary, I didn't know it was Bloods and Crips outside of Dago in L.A. So, my ignorance led me to believe that Sacramento, what? What? So, you know, at the end of the day, it's cities like that, and no shout, no disrespect to Sac, but it's cities like that that didn't make a mark in this shit early on. And that's, and I'm saying that to say, when you speak on the blood and crypt culture, when you speak on LA, it's LA niggas. Bompton niggas 
that respect our gangster just as much as if we was in the same sex. Know what I mean? Straight up. Uh, homies from two P's in the B. They out in the valleys, but they ride us real shit. But Google how long it takes to get from Pacoima to LAX and then to Google from San Diego to LAX. Damn near the same time. And I'm not trying to boost our gangsta up. Because none of that shit is relevant. But when you speak on some shit that I know and I was there, be accurate, bro. Because I'm, I'm going to say something and I'm, and I'm corrected. You know what I mean? It, it's just, I'm, I'm flabbergasted because spider, spiders are solid, homie. I'm not going to lie. But whoever was sending him them text messages concerning San Diego and his rebuttal to Mitch Slick, they clearly just don't like Dago niggas. I'm assuming. Straight up. So, you know, it's a lot of homies. The holler. Come on, bro. Straight up. And some other niggas. Again, I'm not going to mention no names because I don't want none of my blue rag, my none of my red rag homies to wind up in the shoe. So I advise everyone, if you aren't aware, slide on over to YouTube. Check out Spider's rebuttal to Mitchie Slick when he spoke on the town. It's Skyline, Lincoln Park, Fine Line Brims, Emerald Hills, Low Africa, West Coast 30s, 20s, 40s, East Dago Mine. I'm even shout out to none of the visit niggas. I mean, they're not directly in Southeast, but I know some riders from each and every single one of those sections. And what I'm not feeling is the fact that don't belittle us, bro. Straight up. We respect and know where the Mecca is. We know where it started. And niggas didn't put work in. Know what I'm saying? Bloods and Crips. The actual album. Y'all heard it. If y'all with me, on the Pyru side, at the end of Pyru Love, after the roll call, Bebop, Watch, City Stones, and them Skylines. There's no skyline in that life. Know what I'm saying? Uh, as far as speaking on J.O. Goddamn right, J.O. J.O. been in L.A. Damn near since his career started, so he rubbed elbows with niggas. I got peoples in L.A., so I know the politics. I've been to prison. I know the politics. I was out here during the crack era hustling. I knew the politics. LA niggas came out here in a wave. And like Slick said, they had to work. Now, did anyone set up shop down in the little hood where the Foco homies really be at? No. All of the upper streets, University, Oklahoma Boulevard, Yep, Van Dyke, Faux Faux, all that shit by the yellow and red taco shop on Vent, Fairmont. Some of y'all might not remember that shit because some of y'all wasn't able to go outside at this time. But, nigga, didn't one Los Angeles homie set up shop directly in the danger zone of Meadowbrook and Skyline? I don't recall one in the dip. I don't recall one in Low Africa. I don't recall one in the Brims. East Dago was pretty much open. And again, a certain section of East Dago was, was pretty much open for anyone to hustle on. Any of them blocks. Know what I'm saying? From the north, nigga, to the welfare office on 73rd. Know what I'm saying? So... And it's not like these niggas came down here on no hell of aggression because the ones that did were met with aggression. And then the ones that didn't, some of them were met with aggression based on some niggas don't like Anatolians. Some niggas don't like Crips. There were a few bloods that came out here, a couple of Inglewood families, NHPs, the homies of Pablo's, rest in peace, Ace. You know what I'm saying? So it was definitely out here. It was definitely going down. I had to say something because I really wasn't feeling 
the way Spider Loak depicted my city. And on that note, I'm going to say it again. No disrespect to anybody's city, section, flag, or homeless. Because I know how sensitive gangsters can be. Real shit.